South Beach, where the sand is hot and the bodies sizzle. The fashion, high. The look, ca captivating. Where 72 of the world's most beautiful women come to fulfill a dream. But only one will walk away with an elite $150,000 modeling contract. I'm letting myself go. Will you, will you come with me, please? Look through the camera's lens. <laughs> Down the runway. It's up to you. you, you, you. The glamorous photo shoots. the grueling practice sessions. The making of a supermodel. Stay tuned for Elite Models Look of the Year. Matrix Essentials, available only in fine salons. Hello, my name is Ingrid Seinava, and welcome to the most exciting modeling event in the world, Elite Models Look of the Year Contest. We are in exciting South Beach, neon lights, movie stars, and the heart of Art Deco, and a place to be if you're a young model with a talent, with a dream, and the heart to make it big. Just ask John Casablancas, that's why he's here to find the freshest face anywhere and to launch that sparkling new career into international fashion. Previous Look of the Year contestants include some of the most photographed faces in the world. Cindy Crawford, Tatiana, Megan Douglas, and me. That's right, this is young Ingrid St. Haber from Belgium, competing at the age of 17. What an exciting night that was. Winning the Look of the Year in 91 changed my life and opened my eyes to the opportunities that come with an exciting career in international modeling. Tonight, 72 girls from 50 countries will find out what it's like to walk down the runway, talking to a microphone on national TV, and show what they've got to a live studio audience filled with photographers and agents from all around the world. Does it make you nervous? I remember how nervous I was boarding the plane to the contest three years ago. So put on your seatbelts. You're about to land to the runway at Miami International Airport and enter the runway to the stars. Because tonight, one very special young girl will sign a modeling contract worth $150,000 and earn the title Look of the Year. about 6.30 this morning because my alarm didn't go off and I was, you know how you wake up about 10 times because you're scared it's not going to go off. <laughs> Finally I got I'm up nervous. about 6.30, I cleaned the apartment because we were leaving and uh, actually finished packing this morning and then got up and I. Really yeah. nervous. 
I couldn't sleep at all last night. The future. <laughs> I was into sports a lot, so I never really thought about modeling. And then my sister used to model, and they needed, I had really long hair at one point, and they needed a hair model, so I said, okay, whatever, they can cut my hair off. And I started modeling, and I hooked up with an agency in Toronto, and I've just been doing it ever since, so it was a fluke, actually. Just a couple people have said that I should look into modeling, and so I entered a little contest and met some agents, and that's how it all started. I was a real tomboy when I was little. My mom wanted to get my feminine part out of me, so she like um, sent me up to modeling school when I was around 10. So I did that little modeling bit, and it didn't really change much, and then we moved to the U.S., and she did the same thing. And um, it worked, and I started liking it, and I started liking what she was doing for me. You think of some of the funniest things, like um, an experience that you've had in your past, like to make you laugh. Something you just think of something funny or sexy or. Um, sometimes you know I'll like be in my room and I'll be like you know, looking at myself in the mirror and I'll like check out different poses and like different things to do, and um, it sounds funny and it sounds really crazy, but it helps. It, it really works. helps you out. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's like what seventy of like the most beautiful girls in the world come together here. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> really nervous, really yeah. nervous. That's why I was nervous. I was scared I was going to come here and say, oh, these girls are skinny or these girls are this. No, it's not, because everybody's so great. You don't even know these girls, but they're in, the, they're, like, they're in the same position you are, so they know what you're going through and they can like relate to you, which is really good. I'm not the competitive type, so I just do my best and have fun with it. <laughs> The purpose of today's um, first meeting is for everyone to get a little bit into the competition spirit. This is a contest for the fun of it, for the beauty of it. Those of you that are going to be top models are going to be top models whether they are number one or whether they are number 70. Because we, the judges, we make mistakes and also because some of you change. Some of you today might not be ready to win the contest, but you might be ready in one year or in two years. And remember throughout the years, many, many, many of the top stars from Elite, including Cindy Crawford, who's always given as an example, um, did not win the contest and had wonderful careers. The purpose of you being here is to compete, to have fun in the competition. Try to win, but enjoy it if you win, and don't be heartbroken if you don't win. The judging is taking place all the time, and that's true. You are being watched all the time. Everybody is looking at you during the day, during sports time, uh, when you wake up in the morning and say hi to the people, um, at every moment, people are observing you because being a model is being a person who can be great at all times. We went around in close to 50 countries around the world and we grabbed you, we found you. We brought you here and we hope that this is just the beginning of something that will make you great elite models and that we will make together a lot of money and uh, have a lot of success.
Welcome back to South Beach and Elite Models Look of the Year. Most of our contestants say their biggest fear is speaking in front of a crowd, at TV cameras, a walk down the runway, and what you will wind up with is some very scared young ladies on your hands. Of course, overcoming fear is an important part of the contest. Being a model takes lots of training, difficult workouts, and the poise to stand up and tell the world, I have the look of the year. To do that with confidence, our beautiful models had help from some of the finest coaches in the world. You bet I'll work. Present yourself to the audience. Walk again. Look, shoulders, my hips. should be looking at me and then standing at the microphone saying your name and your country very clearly and then looking toward that spot there and walking okay hello i'm natalie from toronto canada yes hi i'm tanya from switzerland i like the alpines but the sea is also white well house. you like the what Alpine. 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 Oh, the Alps. You like yeah. the Alps. You like the Alpine. Okay, I understand. Yeah. And you also like the sea, did you say? Yeah. Uh -huh. You like uh -huh. the mountains and the sea. Yeah. Okay, say that again, real clearly. <laughs> uh. Hi, I'm Tanya from Switzerland. I like the Alpine and the sea is also well. Okay. okay. But we're looking for their personalities. We're looking for them to have that one moment at the microphone where they get to say their name, their country, and a little bit something about themselves. So we have an insight into who they are in addition to what they look like. Before, they may have been very icy or very shy or very concerned about, Am I, do I look as good as the other girls? Or how is my walk? You know, they're very nervous about their walking. And, um, and we're able to coach them with walking. We're able to give them the moves and how to sway and how to do their, um, their, their sexiness. But they are um, scared. And when they get the chance to talk, it's something they're more comfortable with. And we have to teach them how to do that, too. Hello, Christian in Brazil. Yes, and real loud. Lo tell real loud. Muito forte. Ah. OK, like this. <laughs> Hello, Cristiani do Brasil. Yeah. Hi, I'm Marisabel from Mexico. What do you tell me about Mexico? <laughs> Sunshine, water, beautiful the... people. What do you like? I mean, sport. Myself. Like <laughs> dancing, money, modeling. No. What do you like? You I like chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So say the whole thing again. Hello. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Maria Isabel from Mexico, and I like chilaquiles. Hello, I'm Alejandra. From Venezuela. Okay, Alejandra, stop the fussing. Stop the fussing. This is going to be clear. Can you yeah. understand me? Yeah, yeah. We will be able to see all of your body. Okay. So when you stand and go, I'm Alessandra from Alessandra. What am I going to look at? Speak. I'm um, Alejandra from Venezuela, and the people of my country are the best. All right. Yeah. My name is Jana, and I'm from Germany, and I love trees. You 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 trees? Trees. Hello. No, it's right on. But just so, so you don't have to lean in. This okay. will come to you. Okay. Hello, I'm Tatiana and I'm from Russia. No, real loud. Really get it out there. Julie, Tatiana's going to talk to you. Stay right there. Julie. Julie, I'm Tatiana and I'm from Russia. Better. 
Hello, my name is Svetlana, I'm from Russia. And? And I like dance. Hello, I'm Jamie from Holland. Yes. Hi, I'm Carolina from Uruguay, and I love my country. Okay, you liked your boyfriend last night, and now she likes her country this morning. Well, we're, I think we're making some progress. I'm from France. Mariana from Spain. Mariana from Germany. Lali from Spain. Mini from Sweden. Sharani Kilpatrick from Simple Hills, Maryland. Hi, I'm Julie from Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, come on. More. Welcome to our show. <laughs> okay. We welcome you all here. Yes. You are not for coming. Okay. 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 Here we go. <laughs> we're the we're the backup singers and right. dancers. Right. <laughs> Think of Madonna. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mercy from Miami. I welcome you all here. Yes, it's yes. better. <laughs> One thing to say. Anybody tired yet? I'm just going to say one word about the haircuts. El corte de cabellos, la coupe de cheveux. Everybody is very scared about haircuts. And uh, every year we say the same thing, but everybody's scared anyway. And that is that we don't want to cut hair if it's not necessary. So when we do our appointment today with you, we will look at you and we will tell you, we think your hair looks very nice, or we think you need a haircut. Now, if we think you need a haircut, it doesn't mean you must have a haircut. In general, I've, ca I've counted that out of 10 girls, there is one big haircut. You're sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> OK, have another 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. You come to us when you're sure. When you're sure. No, I'm sure. Oh, she's sure. I, want it. <laughs> I just want it done. And one small haircut. She's a cut. And eight girls get away with just the little points, the trims. She she has like a, a little bit of Raquel Welsh mm -hmm. type of look, you know, it's sensual, it's sexy, she's got the skin tone and so on, a little bit Cindy Crawford mm -hmm. type. So she needs volume and she's it's just that the length is kind of like what I call cocker ears. Mm -hmm. You know, length where suddenly the length is not voluptuous anymore, it starts becoming stringy. You have people who are the people from Matrix, the people who represent some of the best hair salons in the country, ourselves from Elite who work with models for so many years. If we tell you we feel you should do something, believe it, it's usually the right thing. It's like out of proportion. I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous. But hey, try something new. I'm so used to my long hair. But I'm going to cut it up to here, up to here. Yeah, so we'll see how it looks. The inaugural cut, guys. Welcome to Miami. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
shine product that puts more of a semi-permanent shine, which could last up to three weeks or so. Which I don't mind what they do, as long as they make me look better. She's got beautiful, Sorry. naturally curly hair. Going right to my job. As we can see, we're going to cut probably a little more off here in a minute. She's got very, very curly hair. So what we're trying to do here, just get more of a smooth look, very sophisticated. Okay. I said shorter, I really thought it was going to be shorter. Uh, to the chair. I love it the way it is, except one inch shorter. They have a Matrix product, CG7, in my hair. It's gonna make it a copper gold color. Is it making me beautiful? Watch it. Ah, thank you. Making a, cha a change on a face as beautiful as this lady has, it's, there's no risk. I mean, there's nothing to lose. It's going to be a lot shorter. I love it. I love it. I had really long hair and it was so hot, it gave me headaches, and now it's gone and I want it as short as possible. I've always wanted to do something drastic, but this is a little wild. <laughs> Okay, no more. <laughs> nice be able, that would be able to round it up. Yeah, no, it's really cute. I think it's so cute now. That's yeah. it. That's it. <laughs> We're going to redo it again. Oh my God, there's nothing there. <laughs> sure there is. That looks like, now you look like a model. Beautiful looks girl. really nice. And we'll be back after this word from Matrix. Welcome back to the exciting Elite Models Look of the Year contest. More than 300,000 contestants from 100 countries tried out for the search. But only 72 of the best made it to the finals in South Beach. To get here, there were preliminaries and for some of these international beauties, they made an all-important photo shoot at the Elite Studios in New York City. Elite is at the center of an industry that signs millions of dollars worth of modeling contracts every year. So let's go there now and see the place where world-famous fashion experts John Casablancas and their team nurture the superstars of tomorrow. Here we are at the lead. It's a beautiful angel. And a big one too. Lots of people working. Hello, Elite. How did they say no? I've never heard any girl 
who had put her boyfriend on the list and they no, it's just like me. everybody that's raining but trust me we got beauties here I'm, you don't even have to go cast over there did you call Beth? yes i called Beth. I uh, have been doing the scouting here for the past uh, two and a half years, but I'm now moving into an area that uh, we're going to be working more and more with the young girls and working on developing them and helping them to become great models. I am also going to be in Orlando next weekend at the Altamont Mall, and I'm going to, there's a model search next weekend there, so you have one of three ways of finding out if your daughter has the potential to be a model or not. It's Patrick from Paris. And I'm doing her makeup because we don't have a makeup artist at the test today, so we need to get something on her face because of the light and stuff. So this is new faces. That's where the girls are new and they start to make test pictures and trying to get their book together. This is model management. Here are most of the girls here and it's also it's a lot of work here, a lot of phone calls, a lot of pick up and hang out. And most of the girls are here. And then there, over there is the elite board where the bigger girls are. It doesn't mean bigger, but more experienced girls. <laughs> like me. <laughs> it's quite something, huh? Mm -hmm. This is John Casablanca's office. I'm not sure if he's in here. No, he's not. Have you met Monique Pilar? No, let's go. Let's go and meet her. She's like a big mama, you'll see. She's really crazy. She's another Frenchie. <laughs> and I speak French, so. It's easy co to communicate. I understand her sense of humor, too. Monique Pilar, as you will see in her office, she loves frogs. Here is one of them. <laughs> Look at the big frog. <laughs> but you'll see in the office, there are only frogs in there. <laughs> it's Ingrid. Are you busy? Yeah, but I'm OK. Can I come in just a second? Anytime you want, my pussycat. That's my mommy. <laughs> and now we go to the big, big money places. Wow. It's accounting. Look at that. Ooh, hello. <laughs> so this is where all the money is. He gives us all money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're able to be a model and if you feel like it, I think you should go for it and it's, it means a lot to be in the contest. Go for it. <laughs> is something that looks like you're saying something, you know, like you're, like, it doesn't matter, it could be like I'm your friend, and you're like, hmm, whatever, but I want to capture something more than just a beautiful shot of you. Okay. It's something that comes from, from inside of you, you know, and, and you, I mean, I know you don't even know me, it's the first time I've talked to you, so it's, it's kind of strange, you know, and everybody's just follows. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like the best photographers really give you like a, a motivation because you're always, a lot of times you're um, in different outfits and stuff like that. It's a different look, it's a different story and they'll really try and put you in that story and they also want you to like be yourself. They want to bring out you really strong. One more, more. more time than this, but uh, we're shooting really fast this morning. We only have the girls for an hour, and it's really important that we expedite and try to get as much as we can. Shoot a lot of film, and we're going to get a lot of missed pictures, but we're going to get those few good ones that we need. For me, for my job, is to make them feel very comfortable. Because, you know, I mean, it's, it's a weird thing anyway, you know, from someone looking at you through a little hole, and, you know, you're, like, expected to do things that you're not really doing, you know? 
if someone says to you, act sexy, I mean, how, does, how do you really know what that means, you know? So you have to just make them feel comfortable and, you know, give them a, a, a simple direction as possible so that they understand the few things that they have to change that they're not doing right and not scare them. For 16 years old, this girl is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, she's going to give some of these supermodels a run for their money. She's got a fabulous face, beautiful hair, beautiful mouth. And if you, if you look at her and study this part of her face, it's all there. Great eyes, great nose, great mouth. Yeah, I'm going to be looking that way. Yeah. And the most important thing is for them to have fun while they're with us. Glad to have you here, darling. Time stands still for no one, models included. So as the clock ticks forward, the pressure is really on 72 finalists. Showtime is now 24 hours away, and all their preparations will soon climax in the actual Look of the Year contest. Everybody needs to be prepared to do your entrances and exits, to learn where your spots are, to be, if you are a winner, if you are a finalist, we will be doing a lot of work tonight because today is the day we need to complete the entire show. Tomorrow we do just the last minute work on it. So be prepared for late night tonight. Pace yourself during the day. I'll explain everything to you because things change at the last minute. Okay, so we know where we're going now. Anybody have any questions about where you're going? Let's go. Break nails. What was that? Break a what? Break a nail. This is the 24-hour uh, mark. 24 hours from this point tomorrow night, we will be halfway through the show. The girls are still learning their positions. It's amazing what's going to happen in the next 24 hours. Jeff and Logan are wizards at this. Complicated, but they're getting there. Yeah, because I've never walked on a runway before, so, so it's a lot complicated. And then, oh, it's, oh, it takes a lot of getting used to. I think some girls are trying to understand us, and we're trying to understand them. We have to be kind of patient with one another. Don't hate me. <laughs> because I'm beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't understand your question. <laughs> For me, I feel it's not a competition, it's just an, a great experience meeting a lot of people, um, people, especially supermodels in the future. I mean, those stuff, it's great. I understand that they have to keep us like this and stuff. Yeah. So it's good, you know. They it's don't good keep that us, they're keeping us busy. And they're considerate, you know. Yeah. They're not just working us like dogs, you know. They have us like, they give us food. Do you have it in you to do that one more time? No. no. Okay, just wanted to know. They're going to do it anyway. They're going to do it again. <laughs> Rehearsals, they're, they're this, the two people, Jeff and Logan, right? They're really great, they're so funny, and they make it lots of fun for us, so we're not always just sitting there going through it and through it. You know, they have some breaks in there to get us some more energy so we can go on. Modeling is important to me because I'm very um, fascinated by it. I always 
was, now always will, I think. And I would like to be, become a big star. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, all models would like to make it to the top, and I'd like to be there. But if I don't do so well in modeling, when I start doing it full time, then I'm going to study. So I'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's going to be packed, and there's going to be photographers everywhere, and there's going to be people, and there's going to be just that tension of the show starting and yeah. you know it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting I guess it's gonna give us all the models a rush everybody a rush it's gonna be yeah. crazy oh my god <laughs> I feel very anxious to find out who the winners are yeah. because I've been doing some guesswork myself and it'll be interesting to see who the winners are I'm very excited when we come back the contest is on will the judges agree with your favorites at home find out when the look of the year continues from South Beach <laughs> The look of the year 93 is about finding the fashion superstar of tomorrow. And there is no doubt they will spend endless hours in front of the camera. So we thought we'd give them a little more practice. And here are our contestants and their very own South Beach look.
Let Me Come Back, the face that will launch thousands of magazine covers. The look of the year winner. It does look like it's time to present our 17 finalists. The 17 runners up will each be getting a $50,000 contract with Elite. And that certainly makes all of you winners. Mr. Casablancas. The envelope, please. Our first second runner up from Holland is Nineke. Second, second runner-up, I guess as to the second power, is Sarah Renfro from the United States of America. And our third second runner-up is Alice Dodd from the United States of America. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The next look of the year model, the recipient of a $150,000 elite modeling contract is Heidi from Denmark. Matrix Essentials for the total beauty experience. Available only in fine salons.